Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to show you these three squishies that I'm going to be painting over. So beforehand, before starting this video, I had previously sanded all three of these squishies and started on some light repairing that I had to do. Today I'm going to be working on these three squishies, one panda bear squishy, a penguin squishy, and a yummy bear squishy. Okay, so starting off first, we're going to go ahead with this panda squishy. Now I am using fabric paint for all of these squishies. Fabric paint is the only paint that is recommended for painting on squishies. And as you can see, I did start with a base coat and I did start with some of the repairs already. There wasn't really anything wrong with this squishy. I just personally thought it would be nice to paint over. And I had a good idea for what I wanted to do with this squishy. So now I'm just starting off with a very pale pastel yellow. Now I definitely should have done at least one or two coats of white, especially in the black areas, because those prove to be very difficult to cover with that pale yellow. And so this squishy did take a lot of coats to get a good even coverage throughout the whole squishy. And so I just keep on layering this yellow paint trying to get a good even coat. Now once I had an even coat of yellow over the whole squishy, I mixed up some red and I started painting on a shirt for this little bear. And hopefully it's a little bit more obvious now, but I am painting this panda bear squishy into a Winnie the Pooh squishy. So he's yellow with his red shirt. I thought that the shape of the squishy was really cute and I thought that the panda bear squishy body would lend itself really well for a Winnie the Pooh squishy since they're both bears. Okay, so after a few coats of that and a few details on the face, I'm left with this very, very creepy Winnie the Pooh. I wasn't too sure on how I was going to paint the eyes, I kind of just painted these black circles and then avoided it for the rest of the time painting it. Once the black circles dried and I saw the eyes, I wasn't really sure what to do to make it better. And I was honestly really worried that I wasn't going to be able to do anything to make the eyes look cute. This squishy had very defined eyes, and so I didn't really want to take the time to going over it to draw up my own eye shape, so I just decided to go with it. But I was very scared on how to make its eyes cute. They kind of just look like two dark holes. <laughs> So here I started trying to add white to its eyes, but when I looked at it the first time I didn't like how they were looking so I wiped them off and then repainted the black circles. And I tried lots of different ideas for the eyes but I didn't really find any I liked. So off camera I took some time, I stepped back and gave it a moment. And then went in and redid its eyes and I ended up with this for his face. And so this is my final squishy. This is my Winnie the Pooh squishy. And I did sign my name on the bottom of the squishy. 
I think he came out really cute, and I do think he kind of looks like a little Winnie the Pooh bear. He is still very squishy. But moving on to this penguin squishy. So I did do most of the repairs off camera beforehand. This is the hole that was in the squishy when I bought it. I actually bought it on sale I believe a very long time ago and he came with those holes and so I just quickly filled them in with some foam and some fabric paint. He's in some pretty rough shape so he definitely does need a makeover. And with this squishy I did have a basic idea of what I wanted to do with it but I wasn't 100% set on it. Now here I'm putting a base white coat onto the back of the penguin which honestly was a waste of time because I was going to paint it black anyway. And so I start by basically coating the whole squishy in a white base coat since I was going to use some different colors, some lighter colors. And so I thought it would be best to just give it a nice fresh coat to cover up any holes or any other things that might be peeking through the paint. I started with painting the back side of the penguin in black, a very traditional and basic color for a penguin. I don't use too much of black in any of my designs really, but I will say that I really enjoyed using it for the squishy because it really only took two coats and was completely covered. Black has lots of good coverage when it comes to fabric paint, it covers very easily. And so it did save me a lot of time. I will say again, I am using fabric paint. Fabric paint is really the only paint that will work on squishies if you're planning to actually be able to squish it. Because any other paint will just crack off over the times of squishing it. But if you're painting the squishy just as decoration not to squish it, then you should be fine with acrylic paint, but since I can't resist squishing them, I went with fabric paint. Now as you can see, the patch job wasn't perfect, but the black does cover it okay. I will say for my first repair, I think it came out okay. I definitely learned a lot about fixing squishies with this first one. And repainting squishies will definitely be a constant series on my channel. It's something that I plan to do a lot. I have lots of squishies already ready to be painted. And it's something that I personally really enjoy doing. I didn't really have any exciting ideas for the penguin. I kind of just wanted a very basic and simple penguin design. Alright, and so at this point I'm thinking uh, it looks pretty nice, a little basic, but it's looking nice. But I continue building up color, especially on the feet. For some reason the orange was very like transparent and it didn't want to cover the feet well. But only on the feet, not on the nose. The nose was really quick and easy to cover, but the feet just didn't want to get covered at all. So at this point I decided to just fill in the whites of the eyes of the penguin and so off camera I went in and gave him a little blue bow tie. So he's like a little fancy penguin with a little crooked blue bow tie. So this is how this squishy turned out. He's very squishy and I did also sign him on the bottom. I, although it was a little bit of a simple design and not much of it changed, I'm pretty 
pleased with the results with the patch job and i think he looks kind of funny with the bow tie especially since it's crooked but overall i'm very happy with his end result moving on to the final squishy for today is this yummy bear now i did start on the frosting i was very eager when i got him to start working on him but this is what it looked like roughly when I got him. I didn't really like its design when I got him. The colors were very faded and muted. And I, as soon as I got him, had a very clear idea as to what I was going to do with it. I knew it was going to be rainbow from very early on. But starting off first, I started overpainting all over the yummy bear, trying to avoid the frosting and just mainly painting onto the body itself and the head, giving it a good few coats of white, just wanting to keep it all very clean and bright. And so after the white was all filled in, I started filling up and fixing up his little frosting on the top, which of course is rainbow. And then in the end off camera, I added his little eyes, the little highlights, some blushing on his cheek. I filled in his little stomach and ears. And this is the final squishy. I am very happy with this end result, although it didn't change much from the original, I think it looks very cute, I'm very happy with it. In general, I really like the Yummy Bear designs, I think they're really cute and they have lots of possibilities. I did sign my initials on the bottom of the squishy as well. And so here's the before and after of the three squishies that I painted today. I had a lot of fun painting the squishies. I really enjoy painting them. I hope you like how they turned out. I can't really pick a favorite, but if I had to, it would be between the Yummy Bear and the Weenie the Pooh Bear. Winnie the Pooh has always been a childhood favorite and I love him till this day. But anyways, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and God bless you.